Once you've logged in to the Apex RMS system, you will automatically be taken to the recovery page. You will notice lots of icons on this page, some of which will be familiar or quite obvious in their function, others may not be. Don't worry about all of the icons at the moment, as we will cover all of them later on. There are certain sections of the Apex RMS system that will need to be set up before it is fully functional. If you follow these steps, you should be able to get the maximum use from your system and use it as a complete business platform to enhance your business performance. On the top left hand corner of your screen, there's a menu icon made up of three lines in a circle. Click on this and the menu bar will open. In here, at the top, you will see the 10 icons, one for each application. We are going to look at the settings icon. Don't confuse this icon with the setup icon on the orange bar in each application of the system. Click on the settings icon and this will bring you to four sections of icons, system parameters, system security, web portal and accounting setup. Firstly, you need to click onto the icon marked companies, which is the top left icon within the system parameters section. Here you will see your company information. Click on it to open the company maintenance page and you will see your company's information. You can update any of the fields here if necessary. We are going into the accounts export section at the bottom. In the drop down screen marked invoicing file format, you will see various accounting packages. Select the one that you usually use, or in the case of those of you who have outside accounting companies who do your books, ask them which system they use so that the accounts export can be done automatically by RMS in the correct format. Once you've done this, click save and then click on the exit cross in the top right hand corner of the company maintenance page. Then exit the Manage Companies page by clicking the circle in the top right corner. Next, we go to the Accounting Setup section at the bottom and click on Profit Centers. This page will just be set up with recovery to begin with, with the code which is picked up by the accounting system, will be set here as 00. You can edit this code by clicking on the Edit icon on the same line. If you have additional profit centers, such as workshop or garage services, then you will need to add them here. Simply add a description here, and then insert the code here. The code is usually used for accounting purposes, to indicate a profit or spend by that profit centre. The next icon is nominal codes, which we need to set up. They will be here, the category is either sales or purchase. The profit centre here reflects which profit centre they will be allocated to, whether they are a sale or purchase. This will be your code here, and this needs to be aligned with what you have in your accounts package. Then you can put a description here and then you have your base nominal set up. Click onto the menu button at the top left corner and return to the recovery screen. Now we go to the setup icon in the orange strip. Hover over the word financial and then over the words sales nominals. This is where we need to apply our sales nominals here. There are other places in the system that you can apply nominal codes, which we will come across later. But for the moment, you need to apply base nominal codes here. This is for any sales that you make. If you have not input nominal codes, the system will not allow you to invoice jobs. Next, go back to the orange strip and hover over the word financial and then purchase nominals. Purchase nominals are in here and can be applied as needed. Once you've entered your nominal codes, always remember to click Save. 